Happy Valentine's Day, guys! How are you doing? And one funny thing I've realized in Korea, Valentine's is not the same way it's done all over the world. It's more of a culture thing than the Valentine's Day song. On 14th, guys happy valentine's day to all who are celebrating valentine <laughs> in korea learn this is of a more of a culture thing than the valentine you're celebrating whatever you want <laughs> so on 14th of february it's the women that give chocolate and gift to men That's what I've come to to learn. Actually, Korea is like they have two Valentines on 14th of February and on 14th March. 14th March is the other way around. Men give presents to ladies plus the chocolate. On February 14th, is the women who give chocolate and gift to men. How are you celebrating yours? I can't be sad with you. Mostly the 14th March is called the White Day. There are a number of couple days in Korea. I'll list them so that you can have a look at them. There are so many couples days in Korea. More of culture, more of culture. And um, they promote uh, culture and love. Yeah, and uh, it's a positive thing. And uh, do you know even Christmas Day in Korea is mostly a couple's day. It's not what you celebrate. It's Christmas is a couple's day. Where they wear matching outfit, matching shoes, everything matching. You can really get overwhelmed. You are single in Korea. <laughs> so, <laughs> culture, mostly all things done around is culture, more of culture. And you are, if you are single, you will not feel so okay when visiting Korea when all these celebrations are taking place. You feel so awkward and out of place. <laughs> yeah. So, mostly when uh, in a relationship, people celebrate the 11th day of being a friends, the 22nd day of being friends, the 100th day, the 200th day, the 300th day, the one year anniversary, and so on and so forth. So <laughs> it's, it can be a, a lot of pressure <laughs> to remember all those milestones. And uh, some some people forget to celebrate and can lead to breakup, misunderstanding. So if you are Korean, you have to put reminders, diaries. Anyway, I appreciate it's a way of showing uh, appreciation to your loved ones, to your family. So. Back in Kenya, it's a big deal for couples. People are gifting each other huge gifts. Yeah. And if you forget, it's a big issue. So it's work. And uh, a lot of things happen on Valentine's Day. So. May you have a good Valentine's Day, may you celebrate it well, may you, your day be a good one. I, myself, I, I say Valentine's Day should be a, every day. You don't need to celebrate your loved one, only one day in a year. I like appreciating 
people I love. If possible, every day, not only waiting for 14th of February or 14th of March. Yeah. I think the culture in Korea is good. It's like they celebrate each other every other day, every other month. Yeah. So you you find them with the matching couples rings, matching phone cases. Outfits, yeah, it's a, it, it, it is overwhelming, but it's beautiful in a way. So, guys, today I'm stepping out briefly. Let me see how my day goes by as I also find a way of celebrating my Valentine, having a good time with my hubby. Yeah, just a brief one. So, I'll see you around and hope you have a great day. So let me step out. Yeah, Valentine's Day. Hope there will be no pressure for you. And how did the Valentine come about? There's the real story behind the Valentine's Day. So mainly was there's a matter called Valentine was being celebrated after he was killed by the emperor because he was um, he used to he was a, a priest to defend the elders of the empire and um, secretly married couples to spare the husbands from the war from the war so that was nice of him but I wanna stay because of that, you. he was killed. The origin of uh, this with day you, I can is uh, somehow still very vague. Just take my hand and fly up the um, but mainly is celebrating to mark so the death anniversary of St. Valentine, who died uh, mid February in 2270 AD. He was a priest. As I said, I defiled the elders of the empire to and secret married uh, couples to spare their husbands from the war. Nowadays, uh, the day I I think the true meaning or whatever it was meant to be is now a day for lovers to exchange present greetings, gifts. Yeah. That's the Valentine, which is falling on this day, 14th February 2022. It is celebrated on 14th of every February, every year actually.